Hello friends, welcome once again. It's Everyday Affairs. Um, I welcome you to this special time and it's another interesting news that says Nigeria must repair Abacha loot if it is stolen again. Alright, before we go ahead with the news story, please I would like you to subscribe to this channel if you're here to subscribe or if this is your first time. Also click the bell icon so that you can get notification whenever a new story is posted. Thank you for your support. We appreciate you. God bless you. Uh, all right, the news in full. Nigeria must repair a bunch of loot if it's stolen again, says the United States of America. The United States has stated that the $308 million a bunch of loot, which will soon be repatriated to Nigeria, must be placed in an account. That, and if the money is stolen from that account, Nigeria would be made to replace it. The spokesperson for the United States Department, Morgan Otegos, said in a statement that this was one of the agreements that was made between the U.S., Nigeria, and the island of Jersey where the funds are being kept. The statement read in part, the funds will be used by the Nigerian Independent Sovereign Authority for three infrastructure projects in strategic economic zones across Nigeria. To ensure that the funds are used responsibly and for the good of the nation, the agreement includes mechanisms for monitoring the implementation of these projects as well as of external oversight. And it requires Nigeria to repay any funds lost as a result of any new corruption or fraud to the account established to hold the returned assets. This return, this return reflects the growing international consensus that countries must work together to ensure stolen assets are returned in a transparent and accountable manner. The U.S. said the arrangement was consistent with the commitment both the United States and Nigeria made under the principles agreed to at the 2017 Global Forum on Asset Recovery co-hosted by the United States and the United Kingdom. This agreement is a symbol of the weight that the United States government plays on the fight against corruption. We welcome President Buhari's personal commitment to that fight and we will continue to support civil society and other Nigerian efforts to combat corruption at all levels. The fight against corruption is an investment in the future of Nigeria, the statement read. General Sani Abacha, who ruled Nigeria with an iron fist between 1993 and 1998 is believed to have diverted over $4 billion from the nation's treasury. Over $1 billion has been recovered from the Abacha loot so far. However, there have been rumors that the funds have not been properly managed by successive governments. All right, friends and family members, this uh, this is the news so far. Uh, remember, we brought you news that says that Nigeria uh, would um, get about 380 something million dollars from the Abacha loot, and um, it is non official. And um, soon these funds will be repatriated. But the good news is this the funds will now be repatriated and they will be used. And it has been agreed that the funds will be used for strategic infrastructural projects with the international bodies the u.s having to monitor and they're having external oversight to monitor the activities to monitor if the funds are properly used for the purposes that were agreed upon before the funds were released and it has stated also that if the funds are by any means relooted or stolen the Nigerian government will pay. We will be glad to see if the 
the United States can uphold this stand, monitor and watch over these funds until the every last penny of it is used for the purposes that it was stated to be used for. Because the level of corruption under this administration is alarming. Though the government said they are fighting corruption, but at the end of the day, it's as if they are just um, witch hunting people. Corruption has persisted. Corruption has gained so much ground. Corruption has been on the rise under this administration. So it is very, very important if the international community, especially the United Nations and the stakeholders uh, on this avatar loot, can, if they can stay firm on Nigeria and monitor Nigerians stringently to ensure that these funds are used for the purposes of the infrastructural development that it has been stated and agreed upon that the funds will be used for. Because otherwise, it will be stories from stories or stories on stories after a while. Now, from what we understand, we understand that a special account has been dedicated where these funds will be transferred to and from, where, from that account, the funds will be dispatched for the purposes of those infrastructural uh, development as agreed upon. It is a welcome idea, it is a welcome development and uh, we appreciate um, the United States for being uh, transparent, for being honest and for guiding, you know, or for, for, or for releasing the funds because not all nations would attest or agree to the fact that, you know, there are funds or looted funds with them. So for them to have come up, you know, uh, with the mindset of returning the funds, it is a good development. And we also gather that over $1 billion have been refunded to Nigerian government at different times. What were those funds used for? What were those funds used for? Who can tell? It's unfortunate that probably no one can give account on, on how the funds were disbursed, how they were used, and it is not right. The, every government has to be accountable, and accountable to the last cobble of finances and resources that has been used or deployed under every leadership. That is called accountability. And we hope that the administration of President Muhammadu Buhari can still, you know, rewrite his name in the history books as a gov gov uh, government, or as a president who stood his ground and uh, who was um, on point when it comes to corruption, who never gave room for corruption, who did the needful, uh, you know, prosecuted those that ought to be prosecuted and, uh, you know, uh, generally did what he ought to do to salvage the nation from the hands of those who are uh, corrupting it or taking it for granted. Well, it is important for us to know that this amount of money, the total amount of money uh, that the U.S. said was stolen by uh, Abacha was said to be $4 billion. $4 billion. That's a huge sum. That's a very, very huge sum, $4 billion. What could have been his plan? What could have been his purpose for um, keeping such money, hiding such money? What did he stand to gain? What did he stand to achieve? Who knows? It's really, really unfortunate. But the fortunate thing is that the funds are available and will be repatriated to Nigeria, and Nigerians can benefit. Uh, can, can see the, the purpose or what the funds were used for to, to the benefit of Nigerians, which is very, very important and which is what um, the United States have said that um, they would ensure. Now, the onus lies on President Muhammad Buhari's administration to actually do the needful and ensure strict compliance through the agreements that they had with the United States so that they can also um, 
make good claims to be able to recover the remaining three billion dollars well these are my views on this particular news story i'd like to hear from you what your thoughts are on this news story kindly drop by the comment section to express yourself and let us know what your thoughts are we appreciate you kindly do not forget to share this news with friends family relations and loved ones so that they can also be informed of what is going on around them thank you so much for your support we appreciate you i say god bless you thank you once again